Okay. All right. I'm gonna go talk to Amy about our plan to rescue your son. Can you go and search for a barrel of kerosene and bring it to the barn gate? Uh, yeah, I'll go find one. You just better have that plane ready. Okay, let's bring it to the barn door. Can you hear me? Huh? A pwn! I can hear you! What happened? I'm not sure. I... I can't think straight. They caught me. Bad. I think I got away before they could finish. They put 
something in me. It's cold to the touch. Some kind of metal, maybe. I'm almost at the church. Can you see it? Meet me inside. We need to talk about next steps. All right, I'll be right there. And I looked, and behold, a stormy wind came out of the north, a great cloud with a fire enfolding itself, and the brightness round about it, and out of the mist thereof as if it were glowing metal, out of the mist of the fire, and out of the mist thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man, Father and Grant. everyone Father Grant. had Ryan. Four. Don't you hear that I'm preaching? Stop interrupting me! Did you see a police officer come through here? His name is Apone. And you think he can secure you from the angels of God? Father! Those aren't angels! This is an alien invasion! They abducted my son and I need to save him! Who knows what they're doing to him?! Ryan, he is in God's hands! What do you think will I give that the angels take me? Your son is blessed. It begins. It begins now. Pone, I'm here. Ryan, glad to find to meet you. Listen, these motherfuckers, they, they probed me. It hurts. I can't help you anymore. But here's the number of the man who sent me here. Take it. They took my son. Do you know how to get him back? Call the number. He'll know what to do. He'll help you find your son. Help you stop this invasion. <laughs> He's done this before. Don't call anybody else. Not the police. Not the government. They won't help you. <clears throat> not unless you want to end up in the psych ward if you survive all this. Only trust the man on this number. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd die in a goddamn graveyard. <laughs> a pone! A pone! Don't die, goddammit! Where the fuck am I gonna find a working phone? Thank <laughs> you. 
The phones are down. Obviously. Guess I'll have to check the telecom pedestal down the street. Twenty minutes later. Hey, this, this actually, actually might work. work. There. That should about do it. Now time to call this mission. <laughs> Please pick up the phone. Yeah? Uh, hey. My name's Ryan. I'm calling from Greyhill. Your friend Depone gave me this number. He... He's dead. I'm... I'm sorry. He told me that he came too late and that I should call this number. Depone is dead? Ryan, did he tell you about using tinfoil? And if so, do you have enough? Yeah, I got it. Listen, they took my son. He's on board one of those fucking ships. A pwn said you can help me. Yeah, I can. Now listen to me, and do what I tell you. Wrap your entire body in the tinfoil. Completely cover yourself head to toe, and let them abduct you. I know this sounds crazy, but if you want your son back, you have to trust me. Uh, seriously? Yes. Ryan, trust me. Who exactly are you? And how do you know this works? Fuck. This is the most stupid thing I've ever done. Alright, that's it. God, I look like an idiot. We got the plane working. But the guy in the 
phone said this plan won't work. I have to warn them. Amy, can you hear me? Matt! Matt, can you hear me? Ah, oh, fuck. I'll try it again later. But where's the plane? I don't hear them anymore. Jesus Christ, it's a goddamn UFO parking lot out here. I'm gonna have to go around them. Yeah, I'm good. But something is wrong with Amy and Matt. They started the biplane to rescue Henry, but I don't know where they are, and I can't hear the plane anymore. They might have been taken by those things. Hey, where are you? What's your plan? I'm pretty close to Brandon's house. This detour took way longer than expected. I hope he's okay. I don't have time to explain everything, but this cop I met, they got him. He's dead. I think I'm going in the wrong direction. No. He was Ryan. sent to warn us by a mysterious man, who I contacted. And he told me the only way to rescue Henry is to... dress up in tinfoil and let them abduct me. I know, I know. It sounds crazy, but if it's the only shot I have to get Henry back, I have to try. Yes! That could work! This is Mr. Well, LaFletch's house. What is his name again? Matthew, are you here? Sounds good. Make sure you get your van up and running. Once I get Henry, we'll drive out and meet with the mysterious man. He can help us figure this all out. Wait, Bob. That, that sounds like Amy's walkie. That's Amy. Amy. Amy, are you there? Amy. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Henry! I'm coming for you! God damn it! Fuck! No! Please, no! God! Great bastard! Get your fucking fingers out of my dirty ass! Was that Brandon? What the fuck are they doing to him? They think they're all in the same shit. That was Brandon's what the hell kid. Should I do now? She's still in the house. Maybe I should turn around.
Rachel! Ryan! Um, what are you wearing? Oh, man. I'm so glad they didn't get you. I was hiding under my bed, but they got Daddy! Uh, yeah, I know. My dad says the government is lying about everything. Well, he's right. But don't worry, though. I'll protect you. I have to get on that saucer to save him, so I'll bring you to Bob, okay? He can watch after you until I come you back with your dad. You can't protect me? My dad says you're a weakling, and you can't protect anybody. He said you couldn't even save your own marriage. Uh, well, I know he's your dad, but... Don't believe everything he says. And besides, I killed a few of those aliens on the way over here. And your dad's the one stuck on the ship. What? Where is your son? Where is Henry? Uh, they got him too. Ryan, that sounds like a car! What? They must be driving through town stopping for gas or something. Can you check the window? God bless you. Huh? Rachel, no! Where are you going? Stay! Ugh! What the fuck is going on with this kid? And what the hell is Brandon teaching his daughter? shouldn't go that way. Got him. Rachel! Max, is that you?
That is it! Let them take me! Oh, Rachel! She's still here! Looks like the light from the shed. Ryan! Ryan, are you here? Ryan! Yeah, Bob! A few of them greeted me some minutes ago. While I was out working on the caravan. Yeah, after taking a photo shoot, I asked them if they wanted to have some coke, but... Bob, it's okay. All good. I got it. Just joking! I imprisoned one in the bedroom, and I put a tinfoil hat on him. I'm gonna make some experiments. But I won't probe him. Bob, I swear. please stop. Uh, maybe sell him on the black market. got Brandon's too. daughter, so I'm a little busy. Uh, what okay. do you need? I found a solution to make the caravan work. It'll take me a few minutes to oh, get it done. Bob, that's great. That's what I needed to hear. It'll be our chance to get out of this town. I have to save Rachel first. She's trapped in the barn by the gas station. I'm going to get her. Then we can make a plan to save Henry. Yes, Ryan. We have to be fast with Henry. God, I hope they didn't start drilling into his teeth. Bob, can you not say shit like that? I don't even want to think about it. I heard Brandon causing trouble for them on the saucer through Amy's walkie. I think they're all on the same oh, shit. God. Okay, Doug. Bye, Ryan. Jesus Christ.
Rachel, I'm here. Come with me if you want to uh, believe. <laughs> well, I've always wanted to see. Glad that. you're here. And the caravan's working. I'm gonna put Rachel in your bedroom. She needs rest. Bob, seriously. You imprisoned an alien. I, I told you I did it, dude. Just lay her on the carpet. But again, I didn't probe him. Didn't probe him. Just put a tinfoil hat on him. Ha ha. So funny, Bob. I think he's one of their dentists, not one of their butt drillers. That doesn't sound good, Bob. I'll go out and try and get its attention. I need to get it to abduct me. It's my only shot at getting Henry back. Drive to Nevada and take Rachel with you. I think that's where our mysterious friend is. I'm gonna work with your mysterious friend together to bring all this to the public. All right. His number is 555. Zero one nine nine. Call him as soon as possible. And Bob, all right, I gotta go. Thank you. Stay safe. Hey, uh, Ryan, you know, you were the only one who didn't think I was crazy. Thanks for that, man. I love you. Is it working? Henry? Henry? All right, see ya. Seem to have worked out pretty good for Rachel and me. Uh, I hate that we don't know what happened on the UFO to Ryan and the others, but... Well, after Ryan was abducted, his dog Max came along, and together we're now on our way to meet this mysterious man. I mean, that was the Greyhill incident. Time for a new book, yeah? God, I hope I'll find a publisher this time. Ah, look at me. Rambling again. Well, I hope you folks enjoyed yourself. Catch you on later down the road. Hey, Rachel. What was your favorite part about the story of Grey Hill? Uh, Why are you just talking? Cause this is our world. Every day's a brand new beginning.